sunshine in my soul today. There is sunshine in my soul today. More glorious than bright. Than glows in any earthly sky. For Jesus is the light. Oh, the sunshine, blessed sunshine, as the peaceful, happy moments roll. When Jesus shows his smiling face, there is sunshine in the soul. There is music in my soul today, a carol to my King. And Jesus listening can hear the songs I cannot sing. Oh, the sunshine, blissful, blessed sunshine, when the peaceful, happy moments roll, when Jesus shows his smiling face, there is sunshine in the soul. If there is springtime in my soul today, for when the Lord is near, the dove of pink singing my heart, the flowers of grace appear. Oh, the sunshine, blessed sunshine, when the peaceful, happy moments roll, when Jesus Shows a smiling face. There is sunshine in the soul. <laughs> yes, Woo. There is gladness in my soul today. And hope and praise and love. For blessings which he gives me now. For joys laid up above, there is sunshine, blessed sunshine, when the peaceful, happy moments roll, when Jesus shows his smiling face, there is sunshine in the soul. There is springtime in my soul today. For when the Lord is near, the dove of peace sings in my heart, the flowers of grace appear. Oh, the sunshine, blessed sunshine, when the peaceful, happy moments roll, when Jesus shows his smiling face, there is sunshine in the soul. There is gladness in my soul today, and hope and praise and love for blessings which he gives me now, for joys laid up above. Oh, the sunshine, blessed sunshine, when the peaceful, happy moments roll. When Jesus shows his smiling face, there is sunshine in the soul. Oh, there is sunshine, blessed sunshine, when the peaceful, happy moments roll. When Jesus shows his smiling face, there is sunshine in the soul. Oh, 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 yes, I'll tell you. Oh, that is, that just makes you feel good just to sing it. Oh, I mean, that just puts sunshine in my soul just to go through that and think about it all oh, that Jesus uh, can just show his smiling face right within our soul. You know, you know, hey, we don't even have to wait till we get up to heaven when we see him face to face, which will be even better. But we can see his smiling face in our soul right now. And we can hear the melody of him singing, the angels singing. And we can feel that, hear that in our soul. <laughs> and what the biggest miracle is was where it had said in the verse two that, that Jesus listening <laughs> can hear the songs I can't sing. He, can, he knows how. He knows what I, the way I'm really trying to sing it and what I'm really feeling and what I really mean by the word. <laughs>
<laughs> whether it comes out in my singing or not, Jesus knows what my soul is feeling and how much joy is on my soul. He can hear it. <laughs> oh, so it's good to go through these songs. Oh, yes, amazing. I, 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 all I remember though, that is just hearing that chorus, Sunshine, in my soul today. I didn't even remember the whole whole chorus, you know. I see uh, when all, about the only thing I remembered was when Jesus showed his smiling face, there's sunshine in the soul. Uh, or maybe when the I, no, I think about the only thing I ever remembered was when the peaceful happy moment. Yeah, I remember something about the peaceful happy moments roll. That's about it, you know. And uh, I seemed like the when they'd sing that, it seemed like it would skip uh, one or two of those verses. Maybe sing the first one and the last one. And so there's a lot of stuff in there that I had no idea that the writer had had those kind of feelings, you know, that felt like that about Jesus or any of that, you know. Uh, <laughs> so it just uh, sounded like a simple song about happiness, you know, <laughs> kind, of like, kind of like just saying <laughs> the happiest person in the USA or something like that. <laughs> happiest person. <laughs> Sunshine in my soul. Oh, man. Okay, it's, but it says it's more glorious and bright. You know, do we do we really think about how it, how the how the, the Jesus in our soul is really glorious, and He's like sunshine just shining all over the place and lighting up our whole soul in glory and power and peace and love and all of that? Do we really think about that, or we just think about well, we we got a little cheer in our soul because we managed to sing a little bit, you know? Or clap a little bit, you know, or hear a little music. <laughs> I think that's about all I ever really thought about, you know. And <laughs> let's get this over. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it said, um, but it's more glorious and bright than glows in any earthly sky. You know, you can see some pretty bright sunlight, <laughs> you know, uh, out in the, especially out in the, Wide open territory. I mean, it can get pretty bright and pretty hot and pretty everything else. And, oh, but this says it glows in my uh, in my soul brighter than any earthly sky. Hmm. And so there's sunshine, blessed sunshine. You know, when the peaceful or you know, I would say, you know, the sunshine is probably what causes the peaceful, happy moments to roll. You know, it's not just peaceful, happy moments rolling, but I mean, it's being caused by Jesus in our soul. When Jesus shows his smiling face, never thought about that. Never thought about that Jesus can actually show his smiling face. His smiling face. He said, these things have I spoken to you, my joy might remain in you, and your joy be full. That sort of shocked me a long time ago when I first saw that verse, and and I never thought about Jesus. I, you'd always think about, you know, Jesus being the man of sorrow and weeping and crying over the sins of the world. You know, all bent over, you know, praying and weeping over the world and everything. Of course, he went through that, too. But, the, you know, it, the, the verse said, my, my joy, these things that I've spoken to you, that my joy might remain in you. You know, saying, you could see in that verse right there, he was saying, my joy is a lot greater than yours. And you can imagine the disciples, just like anybody else, sitting around laughing and talking and having a good time and everything, just like anybody would. And yet he said, my joy might remain in you. And and not only that, but but your joy then will be full, full joy. And so, so his smiling face, the, the smiling face of Jesus with all that joy is there in our soul. Oh, man. Oh, yes. That is so, so healing. And on, on our healing broadcast uh, today, this is our healing broadcast. And we're going to be getting into the lesson pretty soon. But, yeah, but then you think about how that, that smiling face is the most healing. I mean, that is a very healing thing to think about that. Jesus is smiling in there, you know, he's holding out his hand saying, I'm ready to heal you and smiling. And we should see that just right at the same time that we're saying, uh, rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. Let 
faith arise in your soul. We should see Jesus with hands out, stretched, smile with a great big smile on his face, saying, I am so happy to heal you. I am so have so much love and I, so much joy, and I'm so happy to heal you, and I'm reaching out to heal you now. Oh, 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 oh Lordy. And he says, there's music in my soul today. <laughs> we already have joy, now we're going to have music in our soul. Oh, yes. <laughs> Music that is sweeter than any music that we could possibly play or possibly hear or possibly find. A carol to my king. That's what we're singing to Jesus. I never thought about that either. That we're actually singing to Jesus. You know, rather than just hearing him sing or the angels sing. We are singing a song to Jesus about how happy we are and how glad, how much we love him and so forth. And Jesus listening can hear those songs that I cannot even sing. I cannot even sing them pretty or, or glorious or, or bright or any of those other things or with good musical talent or anything. But he can hear the intent on the heart and the joy on the heart. And so he says, there is springtime. Boy, that's glorious too to think about how, you know, I often think about that, you know, springtime uh, being here. Uh, here and being glorious and you know and compare that to the love of God and all that you know and how beautiful this all the birds are singing and all the flowers coming out and all that but he says that, that springtime is in our soul every day it's always flowering out sunshine always shining bright and the flowers always flowering out blooming another more flowers every day blooming in our soul for where the Lord is when the Lord is near the dove of peace sings. <laughs> All those beautiful doves, you know, that you see and everything. <laughs> doves, you know, I can imagine them going around singing all of these songs and everything and rejoicing. Uh, the, the dove of peace sings in my heart, you know, giving me peace. And the uh, the flowerings, the flowers of grace appear. Never thought about that, you know. By grace are you saved through faith, and not, not of yourselves a gift of God, not a work saving as you boast. We're, we are His workmanship, creating Christ Jesus under good works. We have He before ordained that we should walk in Him. By grace are you saved. I never thought about that being a flower, you know, being a bunch of flowers, but it's a flowers of grace. All of that grace that God has, and all that grace that saves us is flowers blooming out everywhere. Flowers of grace. Flowers of grace or graceful flowers. The graceful flowers, but also flowers of grace. And uh, then he said, there is gladness in my soul today. Hope, praise, and love for the blessings which he gives me now. The blessings which he gives me right now in the now. For joy, and then uh, that's the joys right now. And then he goes on and says, for the joys that are laid up above, the joys that are right now and the joys that are being laid up even more and more above for later. Oh, there's sunshine. Blessed sunshine. Oh, you got to really think about that. You know, how if it, <laughs> you got to think about really a cold, dreary day, you know, cold rain may be coming down like sometimes happens in October and November. And just real cold, just chill to the bone and everything. And then the sun will come out bright, warms everything up. And you just get out there and that sun is just warm all over. It warms you up, everything. You know, that's like what Jesus does in our soul. Just warms us all up. We're chilled to the bone with misery or pain or sorrow or something. And he just warms us up like that sunshine. When the peaceful, happy moments roll and when Jesus shows his smiling face, then there's sunshine in our soul. Sunshine, blessed sunshine. When the peaceful, happy moments roll, when Jesus shows his smiling face, there is sunshine in the soul. Ooh, oh, my we ought to be able to really receive healing from that. I'll tell you what, this ought to be a real healing message. Oh, man, after having a song like that, I'll tell you what. Oh, that, just, that song just went to going to just that one little thing that I remembered about that. Uh, it's uh, about half of that chorus that was going through my mind here, uh, I think, last night and this morning. And 
And then I thought, well, I think I should look that up, you know, and see what all of it said. It shocked the heck out of me what all it was saying. You know, I just remember, they all just talked sunshine in my soul today. That's all I remember. Sunshine in my soul today. And I just go around sunshine in my soul today. That sounds kind of nice. <laughs> but yeah, so the Lord, you know, he really wanted to give me a healing message. And he, so he laid that song on my heart. And um, so uh, <laughs> I jotted that down in my notes last night. And uh so, uh, but <laughs> the healing power, we're going to teach you on effective healing. Oh, we want to be effective in our healing. Oh, we want to get that passion for healing. We want to get that passion, that, that love. We want to, as I said in one video, we want to be able to peel that apple of healing. Pick up that apple of healing and begin to peel it down and look at all those aspects of healing and all those things that Jesus does. Like you could say within that apple is Jesus in his smiling faces in that apple when you begin to peel it. You know, that apple that is so appealing <laughs> and that, that keeps the doctor away. You you start peeling it and Jesus with his smiling faces on the inside of it. And that keeps the doctor away when you do that every day and all during the day, peeling that apple and seeing Jesus with his smiling face, you see. Oh, yes, that's the apple we need to pick, not those, not that other apple, <laughs> but the, the, the apple of Jesus and his smiling face. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, you know how we like to see people smile. We like to go. That's the reason why we like to go to church and go to church socials and everything, because you got a lot of people with smiling faces. You know, because they're cheer they're all, they're on fire for God and they're cheerful about God and they're happy about God and everything. You know, you go to some other clubs and things like that and other places, you know, there might be a lot of people frowning and everything, especially all the meetings that go on today, it's always uh, it's always all this nonsense that's going on. You know, and people having to go to meetings trying to fight for their, you know, just to just to keep things in order because there's so much, so many, some nonsense going on trying to take away everything from everybody. Oh, and, you know, and so you, you go there and you just be with a bunch of people with frowning faces and are in trouble about everything. But you go into the church, you know, everybody's with smiling faces. And so then that cheers you up and that makes you feel. But just think about Jesus being his smiling face. Oh, we need to let Jesus back into the church. He, it's a rebel book of Revelation said, oh, yes, he said, uh, you're coming, Luke, you're getting lukewarm. And, and now I'm on the outside of the church. I'm out there. You're having your meeting. I'm out there knocking on the door, trying to get in. Oh, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If you will open the door and let me back in. He said, I will come in and sup with you. And then we'll see his smiling face and everything will be uplifted. All the songs and the preaching and everything else will be uplifted because Jesus and his smiling face is now back in the church where he's supposed to be. You know, we get that. We get that by praying. So, well, you, after a while, you just have to give up and just say, I'm, I'm, we're just going to get on our knees in the church. Get on our knees and just pray until we, until Jesus and his smiling face shows back up and the revival starts coming back into the church. It's a real revival, you know. Revival, you know, that's just got to be a, that's got the words, just a buzzword. You know, I mean, uh, you just have a, you have vacation Bible school once a year and then you have revival uh, once or twice a year and it's just, uh, okay, it's on the schedule. We're having a revival at this certain time, you know, put the word out, you know, revival. And it's just a word that just means that we're going to be here for so many consecutive nights, you know, and, uh, and uh, it's got the word now. I mean, it, I can't even believe it when I see it, you know. Three days, four days. We're gonna have a four days. He's gonna be having a Bible gonna last four days, you know. And they don't even have a, you know, they don't even have a, uh, a uh, well-known evangelist or someone that really is good at giving the evangelistic uh, message or anything like that. And just a four-day meeting every night, you know. And and whereas we used to be, they were two weeks. The revival was two weeks long. And, and you started, and so the whole thing lasted a month because you started two weeks before the revival, ha going to, everybody would meet in the various homes and pray, you know, for several hours for the revival. And, and then, 
uh, uh, and then in the mornings, in the, first of all, in the mornings, you would go out and with the evangelists and everything and knock on doors and, and invite people to the revival and invite them to the prayer meetings. And then at night, you'd pray for two or three hours. And you'd do that for two weeks. And then you'd have a two-week revival, you know, with an evangelist and everything that would, uh, would preach that message. And people were getting saved. And they were there were people things happening and the and it was really a revival. Now we need to get back we need to get back to that that kind of a thing. Uh, if I don't talk all my time away, okay. <laughs> well, we need to get back to a a real revival. Oh yes. <laughs> then we wouldn't even have to teach on healing. Healings would just be happening. <laughs> People would be getting healed. They'd be rising and being healed. Oh, that joy would be on their soul. That love would be in their heart. And as that all began to flow, uh, they'd just naturally be getting healed. Oh, my. Oh, yes, we need to, we need to get into that. But it is, uh, <laughs> let me get uh, my disclaimer. My disclaimer. <laughs> Uh, nothing to disclaim here. This is the absolute truth. That's my disclaimer. I'm fixing to give you the absolute truth. <laughs> and, uh, and you can take it to the bank. And uh, I guarantee. And so it is 1 o'clock. <laughs> 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. You know, <laughs> it's getting so good. I'm liable to be here sometime at 1 a.m. But, but right now it's 1 p.m. <laughs> Uh, and we'll still be praying at 1 p.m., but it is now 1 p.m. Central Standard Time in North America, right there between Mexico and Canada, <laughs> right here in the good old United States <laughs> at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. We always have our uh, healing class. And right now we're going through a series called Effective Healing, you know. Uh, and so this is going to be uh, Effective Healing number 74. And I'll tell you what, these things have blessed my heart. I put them on every day, my, my videos in my library and everything from all this uh, teaching and, and listen to them every day. And I get re-blessed all, all over again. And, you know, I mean. Even if I am the one saying it, <laughs> that's what, you know, that happened to me is that I kept looking and looking and looking and looking all over the YouTube and everything. Couldn't find it, what I needed to have as far as healing and effective healing and all that kind of thing. Oh, there was, you know, a little bit on it, a little bit of healing song, a little bit about healing, but nothing about really effective healing lessons or anything like that. And then you I'd, I all of it find, and I'd find all these things, you know, talking about all this nonsense going on in the news and everything. And, uh, I used to be a real news junkie and uh, really enjoyed it. And boy, I mean, I was just at first, it was in, just in heaven when we, we had a YouTube come on and saw, all, oh, I had all access to all this news and everything, you know, because I'd always have TVs everywhere with all the different news channels on all the time and get in and have this to every talk show that there ever was, you know, and. From the and uh, and listen to all those good talk shows and everything, and and I'd get a lot out of it and everything. But then it's got to work. The last, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, well, you know the reason why. You know, the last, especially the last few months. But you know, the the last a good while, a year maybe or something. Then it's got to wear. There's just not anything truly informative or truly joyful or any good thing happening. It's just going from bad to worse. And so I said, I'm just going to have to get on here. And I, and I got on here this last time, started in about February. And I'm going to have to put on something because I want something I can turn on that will actually lift me up and give me joy. You know, and I can't turn on the radio. And I had invested all <laughs> I had invested a thousand dollars or more in uh, all kinds of radio, shortwave radios, every kind of radio, you know, to feed my uh, news junkie habit, you know, and thinking this was going. I thought, you know, 2020 and 2021 was going to be a marvelous year. I didn't know all of this, uh, you know, uh, COVID-19, everything was going to come along. So I had invested all that in those radios and everything, you know, so I, oh, I was going to be ready. I had them everywhere, you know, I was going to not miss a word of all the talk shows. And it, it just turned out to be a poor investment, you know, nothing on, just 
don't even turn them on, don't turn the TV on, anything. Uh, so I had to just put on my own video so that I'd have something to fill my soul with. And so, anyway, we said we're going to start the, 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 the lessons. And um, a lot of it is, you know, just based on, just today should just be based on this song. I mean, you know, how that, um, to, to be an effective healer, you know, we've got to, be able to get that vision for Jesus and his smiling face and how much he loves us. And so uh, I'm going to write that down <clears throat> as um, write that down with my other notes that we need to get Jesus and, and his smiling face in our heart where it stays there. And uh <laughs> Put a smiley face here, but Jesus by it. And he's going to have a, uh, always in our soul, and that will inspire us to be a healer. You know, that'll, that'll make us love people and want to go out and heal them. And then the second thing was, let's see, the other principle was that we need to pray, <clears throat> pray for a special anointing, you know. I mean, we need to just get, to, we need to get such a passion on our soul that we actually go to God every day and ask God to tell us today what we need to do to be a healer. How can we uh, more effectively heal people? I mean, to tell you, of course, I, you know, I am talking about giving them the message of Jesus and what he says about healing and how he healed people and the songs about healing and, and, and telling them that Jesus is ready to heal them. And, of course, the healing does come from God. I'm not saying the healing is coming from me. It's originating in me. But I come to Jesus because out of my innermost being then will flow those rivers of living water which contain the healing power. And, of course, they're, they're originating in Jesus and then he's using me as a vessel to flow them out into the world. And so we get that on our heart, and then we go to God, and we say, Lord, clear out the things that are in the way of that river flowing, because there's going to be things there that are, are in the way of, uh, 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 between us. It's going to get between us and Jesus, and, and going to stifle those, and, and then, then those rivers of living water are going to, going to stagnate, they're going to slow down, they're going to stop flowing, and then uh, we're going to start going around with a donkey space with a frown on our face and everything. We're not going to have any inspiration. We're not going to be able to heal anybody. Oh, yes. And so somebody will say, well, I've, uh, you know, I, I've been diagnosed with this or that and the other. Or I've been, I'm sick with a flu or whatever. And we'll just say, okay, I'll, you know, I'll put you on the prayer list or, you know, we'll, we'll tell the church or something like that, you know. And, uh, uh, of course, uh, <laughs> the Bible says to call for the elders of the church and that they may pray that you be healed. And then when do we do that? You know, just put it on the prayer list and mention it. But, you know, they don't have people come before. The, most churches don't. We do. I mean, some, a lot of churches do, some, do but, but, but a lot of churches don't. And they don't have them come before the church and, and have all the elders gather around or the deacons or whatever you want to call your particular elders and pray for, you know, the older people that are experienced in praying. Uh, and uh, and come up come up there and pray over them, you know. And so that's one way of doing that. But then also uh, for us to become effective healers by getting ourselves out of the way, letting those rivers living water flow, so that when somebody needs that and they're asking for prayer, we're able to actually give them the message of healing that will cause them to be healed, rather than just saying, "Well, I'll add you to the prayer list," you know. So, so um, and then. Um, so we pray for that special anointing. Uh, first of all, we see Jesus' smiling face within our soul all the time. And we, let, we, we pray and ask God to light us up even more. Light us up every day more and more with that, with that sunshine. And, uh, and then we uh, pray for that special anointing. And then, two, and then number three, um, we uh, go to prayer often enough every day to be totally immersed in, as it were, you know, you could call it baptism of the Holy Spirit, or you could call it baptism in the Spirit, or, or an infilling of the Spirit. Renew that infilling of the Spirit to, to where you're actually immersed in that love and that joy and that peace and everything that Jesus gives. And just allow yourself to to be totally imbued with it and let yourself be imbued with all the qualities of God 
understanding that he's all present, all knowing and all powerful, all that be imbued with Psalms 91 and with Psalms 23 and with Psalms 1, be imbued with those things that we're planted by the rivers of living water, uh, by the rivers of water, and that we're uh, uh, dwelling in the, the secret place of the Most High, uh, and then we'll be uh, overshadowed by the Almighty, and know that He is Almighty, and, uh, and in Psalms 23, that the Lord is our shepherd, and He's going to lead us by the still water. Oh, yes, and in the, uh, uh, in the, the lead us, uh, <laughs> the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, yea, though I walk the battle of the shepherd. Ah, well. Anyway, uh, that uh, Psalms 23, uh, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leadeth me to beside the still water. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. And so we become imbued with that, that the Lord is always leading us beside the very best green grass, the very best thing which we need to nourish our soul, the very best waters and everything, and, and become imbued with that, become imbued with the fact that out of our innermost being can blow those rivers of living water. And then um, number three, uh, yes, having, having the passion for souls and having the passion, getting a prayer for a greater passion, for evangelistic passion, a greater, uh, a greater passion to have the power of evangelizing and winning people to the Lord, but also, you know, and also a passion for having the power to heal people and to give them the healing message. And then, uh, okay, so. So that was uh, that's those four principles or five, which however many that was, and so we need to do that then every day. And every day we need to ask again for that ability to heal people effectively, not just give them uh, some short spiel or give them a put them on a prayer list, but have the passion that will keep seeking for the most effective way of healing and and for the most effective words to say and the most effective way to approach the situation and the way that we can approach it with the most love and the most joy and the most faith and the most of persuasion about God and really should not just tell people you know this could be okay that would be I see I had four or five I had five of them so this would be number six number six is to uh not just tell people, well, God is this, that, and the other, and uh, and or I say I am persuaded that God is a uh, Almighty and all like this, but be so imbued with that in your heart and soul that you actually show that that it actually radiates from you, and that everything you do shows that you are persuaded that God is Almighty and that God is omnipresent and that God is uh, omniscient and that God is uh, is, is omnipotent. You know, it should be, it should show in your eyes and in your smile and in your face and in your body. Language. Everything should show that you, uh, that you totally and seamlessly, you know, without interruption, totally seamlessly and, and totally imbued and saturated with that omnipresent and omnipotent power of God and totally, uh, I, I immersed in it and and totally uh, uh, totally saturated with the the fact that God heals people and wants to heal people and that God is now flowing his healing power out and only awaits for us to get the passion to go to him and pray and ask for that anointing we should be saturated with the fact that God is flowing his healing power and that his healing power is now ready to reach people. And then when we reach out to them to heal them, that is not only in our words, but in everything about us, it shows that we believe beyond any shadow of a doubt, just like we believe who we are and what our name is and everything else, that Jesus is going to heal them and is able to heal them and will heal them and the message is given with power then. So we're going to pray right now then that that God will 
Give us that passion. Give us that understanding. Oh, dear God, that we will have the understanding that you are all present, that you are with us. Oh, yes, and, and that you're ready to heal and your smiling face is shining within us. And now we can see it. We can see it plainer than anything we can ever see. Anything out without plainer than the noonday sun. We can see your face smiling within us. We see that healing power. And Lord, now we pray that if anyone has cancer, Lord, that you just heal them right now in the name of Jesus. Just totally wipe all that out. Oh, dear God, just totally restore them. Restore their soul. Oh, yes, he restores my soul. He restores everything. Yeah, I mean, he's the Lord of healers. And, we, and now we pray that people, any, any kind of, if people have any problem with their lungs, Lord, any kind of COPD or, or flu bug or, or bronchitis or anything that is affecting their breathing, COPD or, or uh, emphysema or so forth, Lord, that dear God, that, uh, that you would have flu and pneumonia, that you would heal them of them with lung a problem. Oh, dear God, or any kind of damage due to smoking. And Lord, now we pray if you would heal people. Oh, dear God, give them a good, strong heart. Oh, dear God, give them a heart. Oh, dear God, they can be on rhythm and strong like it should. And dear God, give them good, strong heart arteries and everything. And they'll flow with a good circulation. And oh, dear God, there won't be any heart of arteries or any kind of uh, hypertension or hypotension. Lord, that we pray, dear God, now that you would touch people in their bones. Oh, dear God, that they heal them of any osteoporosis, any osteoporosis, oh, dear God, or any kind of arthritic pain or rheumatoid arthritis. Oh, dear God, just give people good, strong bones and good, strong joints. Oh, dear God, and good, strong cartilage that they may dance and jump and shout before the Lord. Oh, Paul, oh, I had you know that they're standing on holy ground and jump and shout about that and dance in the spirit. And oh, dear God, and have the energy and the vim and the vigor to do so. And Lord, I pray now that you just heal people of any back pain, heal people of any uh, of any spinal pain. Oh, dear God, uh, uh, any kind of spinal meningitis or multiple sclerosis or any kind of nervous disorder, sciatica pain, nerve pain. Oh, dear God, and uh, Lord, dear God, that you would heal uh, people of any kind of nervous disorder, any kind of that nervous disorder that's affecting their mental their mental uh, stability or or anything any kind of uh, uh, blood circulation problem affecting their mind oh god and their memory and saying well, we pray to heal people of a, a bad memory and oh dear god now we pray that you would just heal people oh dear god of leukemia or anything uh, affecting their, their blood like that lord and now we pray oh dear jesus that you would heal people of uh, of shingles uh, and uh heal people of uh of that uh, scabies, uh, rashes, and things on their skin like some of the refugees have. And Lord, dear God, just uh, heal people, dear God, of, of any kind of rashes or, or irritation of the skin, any kind of allergies. And Lord, we pray now that you would just lift us up, oh, dear God, uh, uh, above uh, all uh, uh, of the uh, uh, these uh, addictions that we may have to the Habits, uh, the poor ha bad habits of this life, they all the addictions to any kind of heroin or cocaine, uh, oh dear God, uh, uh, or crack uh, or heroin, uh, oh dear God, or, or any kind of uh, phenobarbital or, or barbiturates of any kind or methamphetamine, oh dear God, that you just raise us up above all those things and heal us of that habit that we may look back on it and see that it is nothing and that your joy is a thousand times greater, your power is a greater time, greater, a thousand times greater. Uh, flowing in them than any kind of uh, uh, any kind of buzz or flow or rush or speed or anything of uh, any of those drugs can provide any kind of stimulation the drug can provide just heal people now of all of their uh, smoking habit and heal them of any addiction to nicotine and heal people that they can walk off from those cigarettes and never turn back never miss them and lord just heal people a dear god of all of their addiction to alcohol that they can walk off from that bottle never turn back and lord now that you just lift us up high in the sky oh dear god on eagle's wings that we may run and not be weary walking that thing we may feel that joy that you give us that, this, that joy that you said these things have I spoken that my joy might be in your joy before and they'll see your smiling face and they'll feel that joy and they'll be raised and lifted up to the sky and they rest in the eagle's wing on the eagle's wings oh dear God and in the eagle's nest and dear God that they will be feel that great joy that will lift them above all sense of loneliness depression blues uh, or feeling down and out or anything and Lord that they'd be lifted above all obsession with the habits of this life they'll be lifted above all feeding of oppression by anybody or any situation or any kind of uh, uh, relationship or, or being oppressed by any group of people or any event, a series of events. Oh, dear God, of things and Lord, that they would be lifted up in that joy so far above all that that they'd never even think about it again. And Lord, now we pray.
Oh, dear Jesus, just bless our missionaries on their fields. Oh, dear God of service. Oh, dear God, just give them a great passion for the lost. Give them a great passion for the people that they're serving, uh, for the people that they're trying to reach, and they just protect them from any persecution, protect them from any uh, uh, from from any attack or uh, damage. Oh, dear God, uh, any aggression. And Lord, dear God, just pray that you would just uh, protect them and give them strength and give them passion for the gospel. And then we pray, dear God, for our pastors here. Uh, oh, dear God, uh, and our leaders and our teachers in the churches. Oh, dear God, just bless them with a great passion for the Lord and bless them, dear God, with great wisdom and understanding and bless all of the song leaders, choir directors, dear God, and assistant pastors and, oh, dear God, associate pastors, dear God, and all the Sunday school teachers, that they'll all have wisdom and understanding, choir directors, and they'll have, have uh, wisdom and understanding and a passion for the Lord and a, and, a, and a passion for the lost and a willingness to pray. Oh, dear God, now we ask in Jesus' name, uh, in the precious name of our Holy Son, Jesus, now you'll, you'll just touch our leaders in our country, all of our senators and congressmen and everyone in leading leadership position. Oh, that they would have the wisdom and understanding to lead this country. Oh, we just pray that all of our governors of all of our states, oh, have a great wisdom to lead the country. Oh, dear God, all of our state government and dear God, now we pray. Oh, dear God, in the name of thy Holy Son, Jesus, bless all of our ranchers that they would be prosperous in their livestock and in their cattle and in their horses and their sheep and their goats, so forth, that you would give them a great, uh, a great ability and a great love for the Lord and a great understanding and a great pastor. Oh, dear God, that they would be great, uh, they would be uh, greatly prospered. And now we <coughs> pray for all of our farm, all of our farmers, dear God, oh, dear Jesus, just bless them with a great crop this year and a great harvest. And, oh, dear God, a great prosperity in every, every way, the range and everything be on time, right on time. And, oh, dear God, I just pray, dear God, now that you would bless all of our police officers, just protect them. Oh, dear God, protect them in every way from any kind of harm or any kind of aggression and any kind of uh, criminal activity. And I just pray, dear God, now that you would just cause them to live out their time. Oh, dear God, just cause them, dear God, to be fulfilling, to be fulfilled in their job and, 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 and serve out their time oh dear god with power oh dear god now we pray dear god that you would just touch all of our soldiers and our military people that they will be protected by thy power and thy strength oh dear god protected by thy angels from any kind of permanent damage or any kind of permanent wounds or any kind of permanent harm oh dear god that they will come back home safely and everything and now we pray oh dear jesus that you would bless all of our pets oh dear god bless all of our our wonderful pets, dear God, that they would be touched by the power of God. Oh, dear God, that they would have happy life. And if there be any domestic, uh, of these domestic uh, pets or animals, uh, Lord, dear God, that would need forever home. Uh, they would need a home, dear God, that you'd give them a forever home where it would be a heavenly home where they'll be loved and they'll be taken care of and be fed well. And, oh, dear God, we just pray for all of the, every one of the little animals all over the place and all the birds and all the, uh, everything, oh, dear God, that they would just be protected. Oh, dear God, and, and watched over by, by Carol and pray. And we ask all of these things, oh, dear God, uh, uh, and protect uh, them from, uh, uh, help them to get along with one another and protect them from being attacked by wild animals and protect them, dear God, from a larger one of the pets, uh, you know, uh, uh, jumping on the smaller ones and things like that. Oh, dear God, we just pray for all that kind of protection. And so we ask you to bless them now. We ask all these things in the name of the whole, and bless us and give us the power and the passion uh, to, to teach and the power and the passion to reach the love, the power and the passion to heal, and the power and the passion to pray. We ask all these things in the name of the Holy Son, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Amen and amen. Praise God.